Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost.
once again. Nothing. I know it's nothing but the blood of Jesus. I want to tell you. separation Amen. or no denominations Amen. in the household of faith. Amen. And Paul also wrote in First Corinthians that we all speak the same thing, Amen. that there be no divisions amongst us. Amen. A church can't be divided if Christ is not divided because Amen. it's God's church. Amen. Amen. Now here in uh, John's Gospel chapter 4 it says, they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Yes. You can't come to a knowledge of God unless you have the Holy Ghost to lead and guide you. Amen. Reason why there's so much division in the church today because everybody does not have the same spirit. Amen. Amen. There's only one spirit that's shared in the Ephesians letter, only one spirit, only one Holy Ghost. Why is there divisions among the church? Why is the church body so weak today? Uh, I can look back and reflect when I was a little boy coming up in the sanctified church. They may not have all the truth at that particular time, but they believed in living a holy and sanctified life before the Lord. Amen. And I've seen miracles upon miracles performed. Amen. And I'm a living witness of a miracle myself. Amen. Amen. Many times and so 
on you tired, tired of hearing it. But I'm 83 years old and don't take Amen. no medication. I believe in faith because I was taught faith by my pastor who lived and preached until he was in his 90s and just slept on away. Now I'm saying this in this context, brothers, as you have to understand that when God brings a church body together to represent and to reflect his glory, that church can't be divided and confused within itself. If God brings one church body together, he has to have one leader over that church. Amen. And then that church teaches the instructions of the Holy Scripture through the one spirit. Now even though we are individuals and we have come collectively together, we are only one church in Christ Jesus. Amen. And we have to worship God in the spirit of that one church, in the unity of one spirit. We don't look, amen, at what this one is going through or what that one is going through. We come to church to worship and lift up God. God already knows yeah. what we are going through. Yeah. But how you handle yourself right. while you're going through the valley, while you, how you handle yourself when everyone turns against you, friends turn against you, when everything is going wrong, when you don't have no job, God laid off from your job, uh, uh, supervisors trying to fire you, trying to demote you. Once you learn how to praise God in the beauty of true holiness, yeah. then you're able to overcome because the Spirit of God overcomes all obstacles that come against you. Be a rose garden. He never told you you would go through something. Hallelujah. You gotta go through something. But if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, He will bring you through. He always has. Amen. All right, Father. Understand what the Spirit is doing and what the Spirit is saying to the church. Be of one accord. Let there not be no divisions amongst us. When you have divisions, you got a weakness within the body, and there can't be no weakness in the body of Christ. Amen. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we gotta make up our mind. Before we leave here today, if there's any kind of confusion, any kind of divisions, praise God, we got to give them that right now. Yeah. And learn how to do that in your own church. Let's come to church and have church. You didn't know what the situation you was in. You didn't know what you was going through. You come to church and have church. Lift up the name of Jesus. Worship and praise Jesus. He's the power. He's the heart. He's the one that can correct every problem. Make a mistake. I'm the one that can correct it. God's one can put you on the pathway of righteousness and keep you there if you have a mind to be kept there. You try to pick up your mind. And when you see the flesh trying to rise up and rebel against the spirit, bind that evil into you. Hey, hey. Tell the flesh you can't go no further. Yes, so. God saved you, so the Lord God said, I said, I've seen miracles upon miracles. Hallelujah, yeah. I've seen epilepsy flee.
yeah. makes alive. Yeah. The spirit quickens. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise God on the call. Paul. When he was on the road to Damascus, yeah. and that bright light shined down from heaven yeah. because God needed Saul to do a work in the vineyard. He needed a preacher. Yeah. Saul was going, praise God, his name was Saul, but they later called him Paul. Yeah. He was going to persecute the church of God. He was going to create divisions in the household of faith. But praise God, when that light shined down, he said, and God, praise God, touched him. A mighty hand. Yeah. He called Saul out because yeah. Saul had a backbone in him. Yeah. He had something praise God strength in him. He said, if I could turn him around and put him to serve me, I mean, what kind of church can I have? If I got somebody to the church, like the apostle Paul. Brother and sister, when you got something inside of you, it's of the spirit of Christ in you. There's no failure in you. You don't have to worry about what you're going through. As long as you go through with Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes.
Yes, sir, indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. It was all word of mouth. Yeah. What the word spread. Yeah, yeah. About this great miracle revival out in Southern California. Yeah, right. Man got his wife and got her on a train. Mm. He got hit by a, a streetcar. Yeah. Paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah. They said that you can just make it to Azusa Street. Yeah. There's an anointing there that can heal. Yes. He made it, praise God, to Azusa Street. Praise God. And when he got to the point that it was crowded, yeah. or all the press was, was heavy. Yeah. But he was determined to get his miracle. So his wife pushed that wheelchair to the crowd. And when he got on the point, and the door opened, they had no air conditioning. The door opened. And when that anointing came through that door, and he didn't even jump out that wheelchair. And it went down, down, shut down the street before the holy mouth of the Lord. And I'm healed. 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 I'm
us here as a living testimony, as to guide us and keep us rooted and grounded in the true faith that we can come together and worship God and praise God Amen. as one body in Christ Jesus and not be divine. Amen. And not worry about the situation properly. So you pray you come to church, so worried now you can't even have a good time. Take my step. Amen. Amen. I can take my step. Amen. I'm to show you about this script. Now, some may not understand the context of this message. What I'm trying to show you, brothers and yes. sisters, you're talking about a super, supernatural entity that has to be supernaturally in you. Amen. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you allow this power, the Holy Ghost power to come in you, then there are tests you're going to go through every single day. Do you believe the Spirit in you? Or are you going to contest against the Spirit? The Spirit will never lead you wrong. Amen. It comes to lead and guide in all truth. Is that right? Amen. So if the Spirit comes to lead and guide in all truth, and the controversy comes up within yourself, the controversy is not with God or His book. The controversy is with you. Amen. So I'm not going to let no controversy come up. If God said do that, you got to do that. If God said praise God, no sister's going to get married. I might do that one. You ain't never had it in the first place. Amen. Amen. Money don't make no church. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. Our times don't make no church. Amen. It's the integrity of the body of character. It's in the individual that's willing to follow the word, discipline themselves, make sacrifices when it's needed. Amen. But follow God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't ever try to make us some kind of excuse not to be in church. Amen. And she's not to follow God. Amen. Well, this is all this is not necessary, it's not required. Who said so? Amen. All right, prophet. Well, oh, that preacher said so. Yeah, well, don't follow that preacher. Amen. Follow the word of God. He's going to hell. Amen. Hallelujah. And you gonna follow him? Amen. Lord. Amen. The Bible said, not with, it meant not with. Amen. Amen. Now we go to the cross across the way. If that scripture, who gonna take it out? All right, Father. Right, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The Bible says you got to never hold your sanctified life even in this present world. Who gonna tell you, well, I'm weak? Amen. And I mean, these days, you got to know I made a mistake. You don't make no mistakes. Amen. You sin. That's right. But if you sin knowingly, with a forethought, knowing this is a sin, yeah. if you commit the act of homosexuality and you know it's a sin, yeah. you commit the act of lesbianism and you know it's a sin because the Bible already identified it. That's right. Yeah. What you gonna say of God? Amen. What you made me this way? You call me God a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, God ain't made nobody a cigarette smoker. That's right. right. Amen. A beer drinker. Amen. Amen. You make yourself that way. That's right. Don't blame it on God. Yeah. When God comes to correct you through the scripture, and now all of a sudden you say, well, the preacher, he preaching, he, he ain't preaching love. Oh, all right, prophet. Oh, that's love when I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm great on love, but I'm trying to save your soul. And then you have a rock in your life as well. But if you don't have the spirit to need a gotcha, then all oh, is false. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, you have to follow that spirit. The power is here. And the power lies within you. But God ain't going to allow that power to make you do what you ought to do. Give me your choice. Whenever an instruction comes, it first has to come by the designated authority God has put over the church. Read. Amen. And now it's made manifest. Read no. And by the scriptures of the prophets, according to by the, the Bible, 
according to what the prophets and the apostles wrote in the Bible for our admonition of them. According to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Everybody, all nations, for obedience of faith. Jehoshaphat was able to get that great victory Amen. because he obeyed God. Yeah. He didn't disregard what God was saying to put the army up first. Well, now, how are we going to sing our way through this? All these soldiers got surrounded. How are we going to sing our way through this? Amen. It's follow God. Amen. Do God tell you to do it. Amen. Amen. And, oh, well, it, don't, it, it, no, it don't seem logical to you because you ain't wrapped up in the spirit. Amen. But they were wrapped up in the spirit and they didn't have the spirit in dwelling, but they had enough of the imprints of God with them to let them know the only way they was going to get a victory, they had to obey something. Amen. And they obeyed the leader, Jehoshaphat, who God had put over the church at that time. Amen. And he told the people, well, I'm start singing. Amen. Don't worry about all those soldiers with their Amen. shields and spears and all that, Amen. mounted chariots and all that. Don't worry about that. This God started singing. Amen. And when they started singing and having church, yes. hallelujah. Amen. What happened to the walls of Jericho? Amen. God could not walk around there seven times and then what? Start shouting. Yeah. 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 Now he could have told me to walk around three times, but he told me seven. Amen. Why? I don't know why, but that's what he told me. Amen. See, sometimes God will do, tell you to do something you can't quite understand, but you do it anyhow. Yeah. And when they walked around the second time, and then when God told them to start shouting, yeah. the walls yeah. came down. Yeah. And they didn't have to pray to God to into that place. Hallelujah. But on the other hand, when Hezekiah was surrounded, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. they didn't have no one to turn to. Hello. And the king sent for them. Saying that you're going to withstand this great army and we going to destroy all those other kingdoms, all those other gods in the yeah. church. But they forgot about one thing. Yeah. There's a the one true God. Yeah. And you're going to be a good one because there's one true God. Yeah. And the car got that love. Okay. And he kind of read it. Yeah. And he said, wait a minute. This ain't my problem. Yeah. He kept it all today. Yeah. And he put all this to God. This is your problem. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I will get rid of you. Give me another problem. No. Oh, no. 
i ham. Close that coffin ashes. Yep. They in the courtyard. Yep. And would have been in the courtyard right today had not probably came to him. Dave, you yep. get up now. Spirit in you. Let's learn how to have the spirit of camaraderie within ourselves and bitterness, Amen. jealousy, right. strife, Amen. and the name of Jesus. We are family. One unit in the name of Jesus. And if we stay together in one unit, power belongs to us. Amen. We will get you to shout it. Yes. We will get you to DC. Yes. We will get you to New York. Sarah, 10 pieces of gold. Yeah. 50 pieces of gold. Amen. 60 pieces of gold. 
Donna Ali, piece of gold. Amen. Little Kyla, piece of gold. Amen. Little Jesse, piece of gold. Amen. Hey, a piece of gold. Amen. Hey, Magic Brooks, piece of gold. Amen. Donna Taylor, piece of gold. Amen. We'll call again. Amen. 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 Is Teresa two pieces of gold? Amen. 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 Is Brooks two pieces of gold? Amen. Teresa again three pieces of gold. Got it done. Five pieces of gold. Amen. Amen. Is Teresa again five pieces of gold. That was some nice, five pieces of gold. <laughs> Little Joe Gallatin, five pieces of gold. <laughs> Donald Taylor, five pieces of gold. Five dollars. Amen. Amen. Master Esau, uh, six dollars. No name, twenty dollars. Amen. Next is the name, twenty dollars. <laughs> Even Gower, twenty dollars. <laughs> Donna Kelly, twenty-one dollars. <laughs> Donna Kelly again, thirty-two dollars. <laughs> I'm getting some heavier ropes here. Held up Marshall, thirty-four dollars. <laughs> Guns Rogers, twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Held some Maya, forty dollars. <laughs> Hustle my again, forty dollars. Hustle my again, forty dollars. Out of Collins, forty nine dollars. Mr. Kenya, fifty dollars. Out of Ricky, fifty dollars. Hey Amen. You do. Hey man. To God's glory. We, we don't put our affections on things beneath, but rather on things above. Brother Anderson from Michigan, $50. Brother <laughs> Marshall, $50. <laughs> Mr. Kinnis, $60. Brother Anderson again, $50. Uh, Brother Anderson again, $50. Mr. Kenya, $60. Donna Kelly, $72. Donna Kelly, $80. Donna Nancy, $80. Donna Brooks, $80. Deacon Dower, $100. Donna Collins, Heavy on the one hundred dollars. Yeah. Elder Brooks, heavy one hundred dollars. Yeah. Elder Brooks again, heavy on the one hundred and forty. Elder Collins, one hundred and sixty dollars. Elder Marshall, heavy one hundred and sixty dollars. Elder Pinero, heavy one hundred and sixty dollars. I'll leave heavy, $170. Ben's Wagner, heavy, $200. Brother Juju, heavy, $200. Brother Ricky, heavy, $200. And Miss Chris, heavy, $200. Brother Hatcher, heavy, $200. Brother Ricky again, heavy, $200. And this Galantine heavy, $240. Dollars. Uh, Moody, heavy envelope, $300. Uh, Dollar Bianca, real heavy here, $372. Getting some heavy envelope here. Might need some help here. Elder Marshall, $400. 
Curtis Coleman, four hundred and forty dollars. Brother Kelly, right back with four hundred and fifty-five dollars. Brother Kelly again, four hundred and eighty-five dollars. Evangelist Chris, heavy, five hundred dollars. Mother Smith. $500. Brother Nancy, $520. Brother Ali, yeah. $700. Yeah. And I'm going to give you $1,000. Evangelist Wagner. Sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> and the uh, uh, sacrifice, two thousand nine hundred and eighty-two dollars. Amen. Let's not mention the sacrifice. I don't know if they want sacrifice. I don't know, uh, Elder Ricky Smith. Nine thousand. Seven hundred and two dollars. <laughs> we give to the kingdom of God because we believe in the kingdom. Amen. We believe Amen. in God's prophets. Shall be blessed. We believe in God's prophets, so shall be blessed. Word. I said before, you, everyone has examined my, my record. Is that in my life? Amen. Amen. 83 years old. Amen. Man, the same one for over 50 years. And we walk up And we'll continue to walk up with the Lord all of my appointed time Amen. on this one. Amen. One thing is for certain at church. When you know the leader's character, right. then you are able to follow that leader. Yeah. But when you see leaders buying Mercedes and Bentleys and all that mess, living in three, four hundred thousand dollar homes, and you struggle from paycheck to paycheck, Amen. and he tell you to give, you ought to have enough common sense to know, say, wait a minute, maybe I should ask you. Right. Instead of you asking me. <laughs> no doubt that they were wrong for their wife. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker in True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.